Hello, this is Simply Exploring and Adventuring with Lewis. Today we're coming to you from Hanover Junction and we're still traveling along the uh, New York Heritage Rail Trail and the old North Central Railroad line that used to run through here. And I'm going to get some pictures shortly so you can come and join me if you wish this beautiful butterfly garden that was planted here what are those oh it's hibiscus i was wondering what it was we have it growing in my backyard i didn't know that's what it was Beautiful flowers here. Black eyed Susans. I forgot what these were again. And if I'm not, oh, this happened back in 1863 during the, yes, there is also another story connected to that, of why they did this, that uh, special train here. And unfortunately, I learned about it on the uh, History Channel one day, so. Well, there is a museum here. And they also is, upstairs is the tenants live above, so it's still actively used. And the York County Rail Trail Authority is here as well. And unfortunately, it's only open first and third Saturdays. Um, this is the first Saturday coming up. So I may come make a, another trip back here again. And then there's the, the end of the line here. Actually, there's a information board up right nearby here by these benches. Oh, and I didn't even realize it. Cannons. Oh, wow. Eesh. It's in rough shape. The sign is in very rough shape, but I hope you can be able to make out stuff and read it. Now, I was up here earlier, and then now we're here, and I was just in Seven Valleys. I didn't see too much over there yet, but I could be wrong. I, might, I didn't go in far enough into Seven Valleys. We're right nearby Seven Valleys. And the old Gladfelter station is there, as well as the Howard Tunnel is not too far from here. It's, I believe they said that's the oldest continuous operating tunnel to this day. I don't know if it's just in Pennsylvania. I can't remember who, who mentioned it before. So there was civil, civil War ties besides, obviously, beautiful. There's the cannons here. Oh, okay. I remember this place now. I think, uh, what's this? I've seen this horse and this sculpture before in many other uh, videos too as well as people ride the the train it comes by through here and the sculpture is here with the horse oh wow look inside that's neat it's made from bicycle parts 
and others, but looks like it's mostly made from bicycle parts. Yeah, see? This is one frame here. Wow, there's a couple of gears down there by the horse's head. And then here's another frame. Probably a smaller BMX frame or whatever. But that is neat. I didn't realize it was made out of different parts. Bike parts too as well. Pause and read that yourself. That is so neat how they did this. Now I'm trying to see if he's made from. It looks like ski. Skis. Different parts. That's a rim right here, I believe. More bike parts as well. Interesting. Wow. And what do you know? Right here by the where we're heading to right now. Again, this is the Heritage Rail Trail. I still call it the York Heritage, but it is York Heritage Rail Trail. Here's an actual switcher. And it's obviously locked because they don't want nobody messing with it. But I'm sure if the... Because it looks like a newer lock. So the people from the, the NCRR train tour, the North, North Central Railroad have access to that and they're able to switch the trains if they needed to you know off the tracks and if they needed to put one train one part of the train off to the side here at the station they could I also now know why this place is familiar because the train does stop here as well too that's what they have these platforms here for to uh, get off the train um, Nick's from Nick's Crossing was here not too long ago with RJ78 Productions as well they were touring the museum in here so yep Hanover Junction Station. And like I said, it's only open first and third Saturday, which this is the first Saturday coming up. Because as we know, first of July was on Saturday. No, first of July was on Sunday. And someone has their, one of the tenants, I believe, has one of their windows open, unless that's just from, for the thing, so, for the museum and stuff. So, but I do believe this is the place where uh, Nick's, from Nick's Crossing, and RJ78, as well as Nicky, I forgot, came and toured this place, and... It looked pretty neat, and I, I think I'm, I want to come back this way at some point again and do the tour. Maybe even this Saturday I might end up coming back here. And then there's this big sign here, a map of the uh, Heritage Rail Tale. And all the different stations that you can find along all the way up to New Freedom. So I know the trains, the train rides end in New Freedom. And I think they start, I don't know if they start here. I forgot where they start from. But it starts from somewhere. I'll find out more 
where specifically does it start from? But I know they did run a train from Glen Rock to New Freedom, which is the one my buddy uh, Nick's Crossing went recently. So check out his channel. I will put a link to it in, um, in the description. And there's, oh, I couldn't even see it earlier. So I believe you'll see something similar again. I'm not sure if also uh, Jake Mr. Smithnet might have been here too. So I'm not sure. Oh, cool. You can actually walk around. And there is a bust. It's hard to see from because of the Mr. Lincoln. And I'll see if I can just walk and get that one plant out of the way a little bit so you can see the oh no still can't see it you have to angle it higher so while we're at it we're just going to walk around this beautiful garden and see what's in here oh there's a guide oh toilet paper I mean, um, trash bag, sorry. Oh, cool. Glad I saw that. Now, how can I keep this up and get a picture of it? This is when you need a second person here without it falling. Got some of it, but... Fortunately, I, I'm not fast enough and this won't stay all the way up. But I hope you're able to read it. Maybe I can get a snap sh uh, screenshot of this eventually. Okay. Hope it gives you enough inspiration to want to grow your own wildflower garden. And it has different stuff. There's bee balm down there. Most of these are hmm, very fragrant and aromatic. Not sure what it is, but it smells good. It was whatever it is there. Maybe that bee bomb. Okay, let's walk up. Oh, ends right here. There's Phlox. Green and gold. Xanthan, pretty much. There's a big old rock here. It's just an area where you can stand and look and touch and see what's underneath here oh, i attracted the uh, attention of a bumblebee and then we'll walk this way and there's more ah our state flowers there the mountain laurel withered Viburum. And we're going to walk through here. Beautiful. Most of the stuff here is in bloom, which makes it even more attractive to the insects, like the moths. And eventually, might get to see some. So I walked up, I walked up that way and just, it does just a big loop. Very beautiful garden, very well kept garden. That Stokes Aster. This is called, and don't take it wrong, it's called Field Pussy Toes. More aster, stiff aster, cardinal flower, yeah, it's beautiful. What's the big tall guy? Green-headed coneflower, ah. So the other one might be a coneflower as well, similar to that over there. That's a different type of coneflower, I bet you. These are, 
Oh, maybe I could get them. No, that's sun drops here. These are sun drops, but I'm not sure what these are. But they look like cone flowers. I believe they are cone flowers as well. Of a different variety. And it is a pollinator garden, so. Gives you information. Monarchs tend to come here a lot. So this is a pollinator garden. Sorry. Oh, maybe. 